So endogenous ketones versus exogenous ketones. That's, that's a question I get a lot. And we know that with a ketogenic diet, what we're doing is enhancing fat oxidation in the liver. And the liver is the site of ketone production uh, through, through uh, your fat burning process. We call beta oxidation of fatty acids. Um, and when the, uh, the fat, beta oxidation of fats are very high from either fasting or a ketogenic diet, uh, these, these ketone bodies spill into our bloodstream, and that includes beta hydroxybutyrate and acetoacetate, which we can measure with commercially available uh, meters and, and strips. So exogenous ketones would be uh, a ketone body that's made you know, outside the body, and it's, and it's consumed orally or intravenously uh, or parenterally with, with an uh, uh, intragastric uh, administration. And these ketone bodies, the exogenous ketone bodies, the benefit is that uh, we can induce very rapidly a state of therapeutic ketosis. We know that the ketogenic diet takes about 24 hours to 72 hours to get into a state of therapeutic ketosis for most uh, seizure disorders. Whereas um, with exogenous ketones, we could achieve starvation level ketosis within 10 to 15 minutes, even quicker than that if we give IV administration of ketones in the formulas and, and achieve the blood concentrations that we have already shown to be anti-convulsant. So I think the, the uh, potential for that is tremendous, especially for disorders like uh, status epilepticus, um, or even things like uh, traumatic brain injury, where you have 90% of a penetrating traumatic brain injury, 90% of those guys uh, or girls um, will have seizures resulting from that. So it's, it's really important to restore brain energy metabolism very quickly. And one way to do that would be exogenous ketones. So I think they have uh, a benefit there. Their rapid induction and sustainment of therapeutic ketosis is important. I also see exogenous ketones as a way to further augment the therapeutic efficacy of the ketogenic diet. We know it's very difficult to adhere to a strict ketogenic diet, to adhere to it in a way that, that sustains nutritional ketosis all the time. And we know in kids, if they get out of ketosis, that that can trigger a seizure uh, pretty, pretty rapidly. So if we incorporate exogenous ketones into food products, uh, and we know companies like Quest Nutrition are doing that with, with even whole food products. Uh, and there's ketone supplements on the market now. Uh, so I think that to me represents a very uh, exciting new technology that can be of benefit to the epilepsy world, to the cancer world, uh, to basically all you know, uh, pathologies that are responsive to the ketogenic diet may also benefit from exogenous ketone supplementation. And I know uh, just from working with the military that there's a very high interest uh, for exogenous ketones in, in using them in, in war fighters and soldiers to further enhance their performance and also their performance capabilities uh, in extreme environments like the undersea environment uh, or even at altitude. And then, and then you have the elite level uh, athletes like Olympic athletes, they're interested in getting an edge because exogenous ketones really are a superior energy source uh, to glucose and they may uh, provide some performance enhancing benefits uh, without necessarily having to adhere. You might be able to circumvent uh, the dietary restrictions associated with the ketogenic diet and further elevate ketones with exogenous ketones.